Pete Calandra here. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at combining several different sample libraries together to create a cinematic percussion bed that's useful in several different applications. In today's video, we've got libraries from Heaviosity, Damage 2, Native Instruments, the Butch Vig Drums, using libraries from Spitfire Audio, the Hans Zimmer, Joby Burgess percussion libraries, as well as Percussion Swarm. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. For more content, please subscribe, and to be notified, ring that bell. Let's get into it. Let's take a listen right from the top. Okay, so the first thing that I want to point out is that this piece has many different dynamic levels to it. It starts off simply, and then it gets a little bigger, and then I break it down a little bit and make it bigger again. And I think that this keeps interest in the piece. It's not just full out at volume 11 from the beginning to the end. And it also gives me a chance to use a bunch of different colors together. If I just quickly go through some of the sounds, this is the Butch Vig drums from Native Instruments. And what I did was I used one of the user kits and I created my own kit here. Right, you can hear hi-hats, snare drums, and ride cymbal. That's basically it. And they give you some preset patterns where you can hold this down and hear what something would sound like in a pattern. I like this library. It wasn't that expensive. I think it has, for cinematic purposes, limited use, more for grungy pop stuff, for sure. And then I've got a second instance here with something called Bonzophonic 80s. And rather than play the sounds, let me just solo out the ones that I did use. That would be right over here. You get a really crunchy and distorted snare and kick. hi-hat and tambourine and then I'm using a patch from damage Two, damaged combo hits and you can see this is a wide variety of hits and then these clicky things here so if you look at these drums they're most of these drums are broken up into three categories there's higher pitched things there's mid-range, and then there's lower-pitched, very big booms. And the way I like to write this music is to save the lower-pitched stuff for accents, having the pulse be in the higher-pitched stuff, as well as the mid-ranged stuff. And on this particular track here, I call this my timekeeper, and I'm just going to solo this out. And I'm just using this clicky thing. And as you can see here, I've accented certain notes. These don't need to be shown. Done some work with velocity. And the accented stuff just gives you rhythms within a rhythm. What I mean by that is if you've got eight eighth notes, let's say, to make up a measure of music, 
if you just went tick, 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 that would be kind of boring, but you could break it up into other groups. You can do offbeats, tick, 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 where you're accenting the offbeats. You could do it on the strong beats, tick, 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 and they both have different feels. You could also break things up into different groups of threes and twos. So you could go tit, 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 or tit, 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 tit. So there's all sorts of combinations that you can do to add a second layer of rhythm to a pulse. And that's what I've done there. And then over here, we've got uh, Damage 2, Armageddon, Ensemble, Mid Tycos, and Rims. So these are my bigger hits. And let me just go through these before I play individual parts. So this is Damage 2, Ethnic. Right, ethnic hand drums, but they're not that big. Even some of these lower stuff, they're not they're not mixed to be really epic and that really good for fills and timekeeping. So this is damage two kit designer. And the preset is world destroyer. Nice reverse. Really big hits. And we've got ensemble buckets, and I believe, let's take a look. Uh, this is still from Damage 2. So these are good for, you know, keeping 16th note pulses. And then we've got some reverse, hybrid reverse. And these are really good for doing fills. And then this is Damaged Bit Percussion. And you can see it's interesting how they've got the panning all set up here in the GUI. You can see that. And you've got all these controls here. This is not really a review of these libraries. There are other channels where you could see really in-depth reviews. This is just in use, how I would use it in a track. And in this particular case, how I would combine all these different sample libraries together to create a cinematic percussion bed. That's sort of how I've conceived of this. Now, moving along to Spitfire, we've got xylophone swarm right and i'm going to talk about this in a little bit more depth and then i've got handbell swarm let's see you can see there's some effects i'll talk about that and then we've got zimmer percussion just an assortment of hints So that's really nice. You have a wide assortment that you can write with. And then here I've got something which I think is kind of interesting. I've got marimba and xylophone. And these are both from the Joby Burgess. And what I've done with these is I've got my marimba here and I've tuned my xylophone an octave lower so that they play in unison. And you get a hybrid sound, right? So that's kind of nice. That is definitely a technique I use. So let's get back to uh, breaking down individual instruments. So I'm going to go through the piece and talk about what each section is doing. So we start off with this damage to all these ticky sounds to give us a nice time feel. And then I bring in some other instruments to sort of create a mood and an atmosphere here. Okay, so, and also I'm doing things in four bar phrases just to keep things easy to follow. So we've got these ticky things, and then right here I've got a very low. So that sounds like a grand casa, a big bass drum, but I'm hitting it very softly. It doesn't, everything doesn't have to be epic. And then I've got the xylophone swarm right here, and this is really cool. So let's take a listen to this. And what I've done here is I've added two effects. I've got the Replica XT from Native Instruments and the AMS Reverb from UA. So let's turn off the reverb and the delay and just listen to the swarm. So that's nice. 
and that's recorded in a hall, so there's some natural reverb on that. So let's take off the bypass for the delay, and let's take a listen. Right, that extends the sound out, gives us an alternate rhythm. I've got it set for ping pong, so it's coming in left and right. Let me turn the mix up so you can hear it a little more intensely. Right, you can hear things in the left and right speakers if you've got headphones on. And then that f feeds into, oh, I didn't bypass the AMS. So that's dry with no AMS. And here's the AMS. It's just adding an 80s style hall to it, which I think kind of sounds kind of nice. All right, great. And then right here, we've got a reverse sound from damage that is nice as sort of a fill into the next section. So I'm going to solo that. So that's kind of cool. And that goes along with on this damage, these timekeeper things. I do a 30 second note bit here on the last bar, uh, the last beat of the measure. leading us into the downbeat. So this is something about programming these percussion things that I think is really interesting, is you want to have your percussion groove, pulsing, but you also want to have sections where you're leading into a particular beat. And that's really interesting when you get to the fills, right? You can one, two, three, and then a fill that gets you to the downbeat or transitions you into the next section. So let's take a listen to that much again, and we'll move forward. And I stop the timekeeping right on the downbeat here, which allows this reverse sound. So I've added these Butch Vig drums, the kick drum here, and then there'll be a snare fill in a second. Let's take a listen to this next bit, and I'll talk about it. So we've got these Butch Vig drums, which are really nice. The ones that I uh, programmed. Got the kick and then a couple of snares, a couple of three snares right there. And that's going against the timekeeper. So let's solo those two out. And then we move along to our Handbell Swarm. Uh, what's really cool about the Handbell Swarm is that I played a fairly good-sized chord with them, and then I put that also through a similar effects loop or effects chain as I did with the, uh, with the Xylophone Swarm. Let's take a listen, closer look at that. Solo this out. Right, it's one hit, and then you hear going back and forth if you're wearing headphones, left and right. And I took some of the high end off with a low pass filter. Let's bypass this, and let's bypass the other effects. So this is just the, right? So I wanted something a little bit more mysterious, so I, I took some of the high end off. And then I added some Primal Tap, which is a lexicon style uh, 1980s delay from Sound Toys. And what I've set up here is that we've got one and a quarter beat on the left and one and three quarters beat echo on the right. And I've got the feedback set up like this. And do I have any filter on this? I've got a little bit of low cut on this and a very little bit of high cut. And then after that, I am using the new neighbor, Wet Reverberator, which I really like. And this is a good value. I got this at a sale for $50, which I thought was a really good value. And this is one of my own presets. So let's listen to all of that together. Excellent. 
and then the entire track from that second section. Oh, there's a couple of other things going on, right? So I've got this Zimmer percussion down here. So just some wooden sounds, right? Just doing little fills. And then over here, I've got my marimba and xylophone duet, which uh, remember I, I transposed the xylophone down an octave. Gives us sort of a xyrimba, a xylorimba or something. And then a nice fill into the next section, which is a continuation with some other elements added. So in the Butch Vig drums, we're adding some hi-hats. Just a slightly open hat. Nice fill and a little extra hi-hat right here, leading into that downbeat. And that goes against our timekeeper. And then we add the damage. Just these hits. Those wooden hits. And what else? There's this kit designer here, which helps me with a fill into the next section. So I'll take it from measure 12. Right. So notice I stop everything on the down on the beat here at measure three and let the fill come in lead us into the next section. So let's put all that together with this Zimmer percussion down here and our uh, marimba and xylophones. Let's take it right from, right from measure 10. So again, I'm building. So here in the Butch Vig drums, I'm adding a little bit more to the hi-hat pattern and keeping the timekeeper going. And I've got these clicks here from the Armageddon. So these three together, I think, have a nice combined sound. Right? My kick drum is busier. Bum, 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 bum. And a nice little flourish in the hi-hat here. some tom-tom fills and let's add the ethnic aspect to this right hand drums so what is kind of cool i like to do is i like to add the double hits right there's some pitches in there where you're getting one note but it does a, a flam almost right I like that. And then we've got this Zimmer percussion, right? Those big hits added in on the first and third bar of this section. So all together. All right, so here I've taken the hi-hats off because I don't want to have competing pulses, right? Hi-hats do pulsing things. And I've really made the kick drum draw a little bit more driving rhythm here. Nice fill. And what's driving this section here is this drum damage dis drum designer. It's really cool. So you're combining all these different elements together and it kind of works, right? And that's just it in this section, this and this, and then I've got a little fill right here. Don't be afraid to add some 30 second notes in there. And now a driving rock proof. And let's, that's mostly the bonzo groove here. With a half open hi-hat in 
the butch first butch fig drums and then the big heavy drums and uh, bass drum and snare drum in the bonzo butch fig <laughs> and the timekeeper's in there. So let's listen to the timekeeper and the open hi-hat and see how they work together. Right, they work together because I'm not making either, I'm not making the hi-hats really busy. I'm leaving that here in the timekeeper track. And then I've got this Armageddon drums. Let's see what they're doing. They're doing the, wood, the wooden hits. Just adding some accents. And I think that plays well with the timekeeper patch. So notice the clarity there. The, this track is doing the bit, 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 bit. And that's playing in concert with... And then we've got this kit designer. So that plays in concert with this track and this track play in concert. So this is the Armageddon and Damage Kit 2. Damage 2 kit design. With the timekeeper. And that all fits in with... And then here, we've, we've had this build up to this uh, section here so far from the very beginning. And then right here, it's not really a breakdown, but what I've done here is I've taken the kick drum and I've made it on the, on the backbeat almost, you could say, right? Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's a Stuart Copeland reggae kind of a influence there. And with hi-hat and tambourine from the bonzo drums. And then let's, let's listen to what the timekeeper is doing here. That low hit with a lot of ambience on it. And that fills in here with Heaviosity's Damage to Armageddon. Right, just those wooden hits. And then we've got our buckets to go along with that. And we're adding this reverse sound on that. And I believe, yes, this is the first time that the damaged bit percussion is coming in. Let's listen to the pulsing things and mute all the rest and just hear how they work together. So. Right? Right, so. You can sort of feel that rhythm in there. So everything has its own pulse, its own rhythm, but they all still work in concert. And notice that I'm not making the low end of this really busy right now. I'm keeping all the driving, like the 16th note, 32nd note stuff in areas that are higher up in the pitch register. Uh, let's see. Now let's listen to what we're doing with the handbell swarm here. Just adding a tonal pitch. Um, I'm sorry, just adding a bit of a total ca tonal characteristic to this. With all that echo, it's really ethereal. And I believe that goes along with our marimba xylophone. All right, let's listen to all of that together. And 
this is just a rock groove in this area here. So I'm using the snare drum from the bonzo and then the butch fig. That's also a butch fig drums, but I'm also using the kit that I put together, the hi-hats and the kick drum. And then the toms over here for the fill. And that goes along with our timekeeper. And that's something. There I am doing a really busy figure in a low-pitched instrument. But if you look at the track from here all the way up to here, it's really the only thing playing anything very noty at that point. So I'm leaving space for that to live. So let's listen to that transition into the next section. All right, let's do a little breakdown here of this section here. And again, I'm using this Butch Vig drums with the snare drum here in our Bonzo kit. Now, one other thing too, I've changed the pattern here on this Damage 2 area. This is what it had been previous to that. So I'm using different instruments in there. It gives it a little different sound in addition to the different rhythm. And that goes along with Damage 2 Kit Designer. And... So combining these different libraries together with all the different sounds, using a wide variety of sounds, you can get some really interesting sounding textures together and driving rhythms. And basically what this does, is it just leads us up to the end. So let's listen to the last eight bars. Or so. All right, let's break this down. So let's, we've gotten through this area here, but we've got this really big fill right here. Right, where I'm getting the hi-hats to go faster and faster and then to go bigger and bigger. And I do that by increasing the note value so that these are 30 seconds here and so are these, but instead of them being on the same hi-hat, I mean, I could even move that up like that so that the last one is open. And that, that actually is better, I think. So that's kind of cool. And then there's right here on this Damage 2 Armageddon right here, fill. And that leads us to our ending. So let's break that down, starting with this yellow track here, which is the Ethnic. Right, add the drum designer. And giving us a really distorted kick and bass drum. And then we've got a long reverse here. And then that goes along with these, some repercussion here. Right, so there's a lower pitched drum and then there's wooden things. And then at the very end, I've got a big hit here with this Right? Not big, but it's very ambient. And that starts on the downbeat, but this guy ends on beat two. So, boom, pow! And then on another beat comes in the handbell swarm, and then the xylo swarm on the next beat. And that gives us a really cool ending. At this point, I'm just going to play it out. Thank you so much for watching. Again, like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Here we go.